stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to paint these pair of galaxy eyes. Keep watching. So I used to get this question all the time when I was a young kid drawing in class. You know, can you draw me this? How did you draw that? So I thought I would start this little series um, called How Did You Paint That? Um, so it's just a fun kind of way for me to kind of have a tutorial and let you guys see how I do something because let's face it, I'm not the best teacher in the world. Um, I tried when I was in school to show people how I did things and I just lost them somewhere along the way so I try to let people watch what I'm doing um, I just can't instruct that well you know I don't know if I'm not meant to be a teacher I do like to show people how to do things and I am a big supporter of people doing art on their own and making things on their own and everybody's an artist and everybody's creative I've said this before I think it's really important for everybody to be expressive and get their feelings out so it's really cool to like see people do things that are creative and um, people who are inspired by what I'm doing with that said um, I don't mind taking a few requests if there are some things that you want to see me paint or draw I'd be happy to do it for you um, it kind of takes the pressure off of me on figuring out what next video to do so please just let me know if there's something that you'd want to see done I know there's a lot of great youtubers out there that make art and um, have some great tutorials so I thought I would just throw my own two cents in um, you know I, I don't think I really make art the same way they do no two artists are really alike um, so I thought I would make my version of galaxy eyes I was really inspired by this artist that I saw on YouTube uh, who made a galaxy portrait um, and I will flash her name up on the screen here uh, so definitely go check her out. Um, in the meantime, I'm just kind of shooting in the dark of things that I like to draw anyway. I draw all eyes all the time. So um, it's not really anything unusual for me to be doing. But I thought instead of drawing a regular pair of eyes with a regular eye color, it would be more interesting to do something a bit more colorful because I like a lot of color in my work. Um, and I think that makes things attractive to other people. So... If you want to see how I do that, keep watching.
Okay, hello, it's me, I'm back. Um, sorry if you just wanted a music art through, but sometimes I have to talk, you know, like sometimes I have to let you know what's going on in the video, so I'm sorry about that. Um, maybe I'll put a warning in the beginning of the video that I'm talking, you know, some YouTubers don't like when you talk through videos, and, and some people don't like when you don't talk because... They don't know what's going on so you know sometimes i have to make a compromise here so sorry about that <laughs> um anyways i am getting into the eyes here and i am putting in a little blue at the top and a little pink at the bottom um i actually at this point was not sure what color i was going to be making the actual um pupils or irises like I don't know, you know the center part of the eye i'm not even sure what that's called or what part of the anatomy that is oh bad artist bad artist I, I should know what that's called but i can't think of it right now um but basically um i didn't know what color i was going to make that i did know that i was just going to use some random colors but i hadn't really decided on what those colors were going to be yet um so i started to put some depth into the the whites of the eyes uh to make them a little bit colorful you know um a little bit reflective of the possible lighting that's going on around uh, the environment. Um, sometimes you have to think about that things when you're drawing or painting something that, you know, there is possibly a world or something being reflected. Um, so I, I usually like to use blue and pink a lot anyway. So I thought I would just put some of that in there. And once I did that, I kind of figured, well, I might as well just kind of make those the base colors of the center of the eyes um and so you'll put see me putting some of that in there i'm gonna put a little pink a little blue then i'm gonna make a little purple i don't really don't really know what's up with the the dark pink under the eyes i kind of have been obsessed i've been doing that a lot um i don't know what it's about i think maybe it's because i'm a child of the 80s and there was this like coked out drug look in the magazines and they're just so pink eyed and like tired looking but I don't know there's something kind of pretty about it I don't really mind it that much you know especially in a painting you know if it's, it's if it's makeup and it's on a real person I don't know maybe it's different but I kind of like the look that it brings to the artwork it's a little bit flushed it gives it a little bit of life to have that blood flow to the eyes there I guess I don't know <laughs> Can I just say that I'm not mad at my makeup application here? Um, I kind of make a joke all the time that you don't want me doing your makeup. You know, I like doing some really colorful kind of crazy makeup. Um, but I didn't go too crazy here. You know, it's just a little bit of purple, a little bit of, you know, blue. Um, but, I mean, can you give me props at least for, like, making these wingtips a little bit, you know, symmetrical? It's kind of hard to do. You know, I know it's hard to do on a real face. Um... But it's, you know, artists have a, t a hard time a lot getting two eyes the same size, you know. And, you know, after watching a few makeup tutorials, I'm just like, you know, the, the, they say over and over again that they're, they're sisters. They're not identical, you know. It's like the same with the eyebrows, you know. It's like everything doesn't have to be so symmetrical, identical. You know, if it's symmetrical, maybe it has some kind of appeal or attractiveness to it. But it doesn't have to be so symmetrical and i agree with that you know like in life you know i feel like it just makes it look more real to me it's more real to have things that look you know partially similar instead of identically symmetrical so anyways i just want to give myself props for kind of doing you know some decent makeup i guess you know um anyways I'm putting in the application of the colors in the centers of the eyes. I have the highlights, blue and pink. Um, I think I intended to make them white, but I don't know. It just seemed kind of like too regular for me. So I was going to put a color in there. So I made the, the highlights pink and blue. I'm putting in a dark purple um, around the rest of the eye there. You see at the top. And then I'm going to put a dark pink towards the bottom and then I'm going to blend the two in the middle so I think that makes for a really colorful eye I don't know I think it looks kind of cool but um I thought it would be something a little different um also like her eyes are reflecting two big planets you know and then the space is you know in the rest of the 
you know, outer space is being reflected in the rest of her eye. Um, so do you see how that comes out later? I'm going to put, you know, a little bit of uh, white gouache in to mimic stars, maybe a little nebula. You know, it sounds like a lot of detail, you know, but I'm just kind of playing around with it. You know, it's like it just it's reminiscent of it. You know, if I'd made the eyes bigger, you might be able to see me do a little bit more detail in there, but I'm not going to get that that detailed. It's just going to be reminiscent of what I was thinking of and I'm letting you know. This is kind of what I was thinking of when I was making these colors in the eyes. Um, I think it's cool just to go in a little bit different direction, a little bit more of a fantasy sci-fi direction where the eyes don't look necessarily like just a regular piece of eyes with regular colors. So uh, if you're into anime, you know what I'm talking about. You know, in anime you watch, there's the eyes are just giant and they reflect the moon and the stars and comets flying by i mean it's a really colorful and it's really pretty and i love that look so i'm kind of going for a little bit of that here okay so here is another short little music break while i show you how i'm going to do all of that
so that's just about it guys um i'm almost done here uh, i'm just putting a few finishing touches i told you it wasn't gonna be that bad it, i mean uh, i got a few paint splatters um i don't know if you noticed in the beginning of the video i kind of zoomed in on uh some paint splatters from when i was cleaning off my brush and i just thought it was kind of funny i'm gonna put in some more to balance out that effect um paint splatters are cool in watercolor i think you should do them um but anyways, I'm putting in some finishing touches here, and then I'm about to be done with this. Not really that, you know, crazy, not that difficult, um, especially not as difficult as my inspiration piece. Um, but definitely you should give us a try in your work, making the eyes really super colorful, um, kind of going against the grain with the um, traditional colors of eyes. And of course, if you are interested in seeing more from me, I have plenty more videos on my channel. I do eyes a couple other times also. Um, I have a uh, full face, I have lips, I have eyes. So definitely give those uh, a look on my channel and subscribe if you like what you see. Let me know in the comments if there's something you want to see. Um, check out my website, johnnyperezart.com. I have a blog going, I have a newsletter and i have a store so go ahead and give that a look if you can and again thanks for watching and i'll see you next time